I want to tell you about a couple of exciting interviews I did. So I'm working this podcast. It's named, or we call the show, Look Who's in the House with Michael. And uh, in the last couple of weeks, I had some great interviews. I got the lovely opportunity to interview the two partners of Signature Premier Properties. This is the number one brokerage on Long Island with almost 20 offices right now, maybe, maybe a little more. And uh, they're both were happy to give me their time in the studio. I had two great interviews. The first one was with Pete Morris, and the second one was Kathy Viard, who's actually the broker on record here. So I want you to check those out, like and subscribe. They're very exciting, and uh, thank you. And please share my videos if you like them. So welcome to my show. Look who's in the house with Michael. This week, I got Kathy Viard. She is the co-owner of Signature Premier Properties and the broker of records. So welcome to our show, Kathy. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm thrilled that you gave me some time today. I know how busy you are, but I want to get to know you a little bit and I wanted to share that with the audience. Okay. So let's start at the beginning. <laughs> Where'd you grow up? Where were you born and raised? Born and raised in Northport, New York. So did you go to Northport High School? I did. All right. I did. So during your school years, Sports, music, anything? Soccer. Oh. I'm a soccer lover. Still love it. Uh, would still play if I was physically able, but I've been benched with a bad ankle. Okay. Well, that happens. Um, siblings? I have two sisters and a brother. Okay. How far or close in age? My mother was a woman of... Uh, two, uh, Is two it years. Irish? <laughs> Irish Catholic. <laughs> I got the Irish thing in my path. Every my two years. Yeah. We were just talking about that. All right. So you're all fairly close in age then, I guess, right? We are. I'm right. the oldest. You're the oldest. Mm -hmm. All right. So were your siblings athletic also? They were. Everybody in soccer? Um, actually, my brother and sister that I'm the closest in age to were soccer. The youngest didn't play sports. Okay. I think by the time they dragged her around to all those games, she it's was It's exactly done. how it is. Yeah. I've seen it already happen. The one kid that's sitting on the bleachers and the whole thing is just over the whole thing. I and know. my dad coached all of our teams. Oh. So, and my mom was a realtor and she worked a lot. So she was, yeah, I'm sure when it came her turn, she was no. Well, you just started the next question. What were your parents doing? So mom's a realtor. Mom was a realtor, very uh, long-term, very successful. My father was um, a steam fitter, which is local 638. Wow, in Manhattan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow, mm -hmm. that's a hard job. He loved it. He did, huh? Loved it. He did a full career in the union in the city. 42 years. That's a long time. Yeah. That's manual labor. Yeah. Well, so, and then the whole legacy of the real estate for your family is pretty okay. long now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody's in it now. Every, yeah. If they weren't in it before. Yes, yeah. yeah. Right? All right, so what'd you do after high school? After high school, I went to college. Uh, went to Farmingdale for two years, and I went to FAU in Boca. Why do I feel like, did Pete tell me went to Farmingdale? Is that oh, possible? No, I doubt it. Somebody recently told me Farmingdale. So then you went to FIU in FAU, Boca. FAU, FAU, Florida Atlantic. Uh, in Boca Raton. What were you studying? Teaching. Okay. Teaching, I have all my degrees in teaching. And what what, what did you think you were gonna grow up to be? Teacher. In like a high school, an no, elementary? elementary. Yeah. You want to work with young children? Yeah, yeah. So when did that path divert for you? I, hmm, when I had my children. I. When I had my children, I wanted to raise my own kids, and my mom was a broker, and um, I had dabbled in real estate before college, during college, and then before children, and then naturally after children. So when you came out of college, you had your degree to go teaching. Did you start teaching at all? I did teach a little bit, not not a lot. Um, yes, a little bit, but not nothing long term. I had my daughter pretty fast. Yeah. I, I had my oldest young. Yeah, we were... I think I was 26 when the first one came around. My wife will tell you. 23. She's yeah, okay. Yeah. You're married 23. So, you know, listen, for our age group, it's really not far off the mark. Right. Compared like to that. today's standards, it's a whole different animal, though, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's starting their lives at like 30 or 35. Except my kids, they had their kids young, too, they which did? is great because I'm a grandmother three times. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you got your teaching degree, you started a little bit in it, and then I guess you got married and started having children pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what did your husband do? My husband is a trained chef, but when we moved back to New York, he went into the oil business and drove an oil truck and then went into management. In the oil industry? A, a local mom yeah. and pop oil company. So how long was he? As, did he did he work as a chef? Was he a working chef or what? That's how we met. That's how we met. He, I was a waitress and he was a chef. Fire, okay. uh, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. This is the party place, I'm sure of it. Actually, uh, it was the restaurant we worked for was in Fort Lauderdale. But what, yeah. what was it called? Oh gosh, Nathaniel's. Okay. 
I didn't last very long. I'm right. a terrible waitress. You, you remember I came up through the restaurant business. Oh, that's right. So we that, talked yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, yes. so yes. it's interesting. So so when did he abandon ship on the whole culinary piece? When we left Florida and moved back to New York, he we decided he wanted to be around to raise our family and not out all night. Doing... Good for him, because I did 30 years of doing it the other way. And, it's a uh, hard job. And I loved it. I did love it. But then you, you just, one day you grow up and you're like, this isn't the rest. I need to be more it's than this. It's exhausting. It is. It's physically exhausting. Yeah. Now I look back wondering how I did it. When I was doing it, just, it's par for the course. I, I don't, it's really a tough job. Did you play soccer in college at all? I did not. Okay, so you were done after high school. I was done after high school, but always in some kind of, you know, league. Yeah. And and has Pete suckered you into the pickleball thing yet? Suckered me? Yes. And, you know, the standing joke in the company is someday I'm going to beat him. I will never beat him. Well, but it's fun for a story. You know he's a ringer, right? Because on, on my interview with him that will come out soon, he played tennis in Oh, school. I knew that. I okay. did know that. So he's a he's, bit of a ringer. He's very good at pickleball. Yeah. I'm sure he's not telling everybody. And he oh, gets he tells a, everybody. Oh, he does? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I can see him just out there playing silly and then just beating everybody oh, no. up. No, he, I don't think anybody's beat him yet that I know of. Okay. But no, I'm brand new to it. I love it. If you haven't played, I always tell the same story about the pickleball court. When he told me he was putting it in, I was like, this is insane. It's all right, whatever you want. <laughs> I probably use it most. Well, that's good. Love it. And we'll but come I, I'm to not this. good, but I'm not good. That's okay. As long as you show up. That's the game is showing up. Putting on a pair of sneakers is showing up. Moving, any kind of exercise, right. anything. Listen, I look, I, I drive down, there's courts on one of the main roads here, and there's 80-year-olds playing. I think I can do this. Sure. Um, how many children do you have? I have three daughters. Three girls. And what's the age range? My Jackie is 34, and my twins will be 31 this month. Oh, yeah, my kids are the same age. Right there. Yeah. All right, so now... We had girls. We and we we're in real estate. And we got into real estate. Did you start with your mom, like jumping on her team or something? I always say I'm a silver spoon realtor. Yeah. What we didn't have teams back then. Yeah. My mom, when I went back in the business, my mom had was had a very thriving business, needed some help. Um, her health was was starting to fail, and she couldn't do. My mom had some health issues, um, so we partnered up right away. We had ten fabulous years of being a partner. Oh, that's fun! I absolutely learned from the best. Yeah, and um, yeah. and it's nice. It's nice to it was heaven. if you can work with family like it that. Was, it was fun. It's either great or it's miserable. It was perfect for us because my children never had to be in daycare. Yeah. Not an hour in their life. Yeah. They were either with me or my mother. Yeah, that's so hard. I don't know that it gets any better than I that. had to do it the hard way because of the schedule I, I work, but uh, that's it. It's hard that way. Mm -hmm. So you work with your mom for 10 years and uh, in a small brokerage or was that a name? Uh, actually, it's when I met Pete, when I went back into the business. We were at Coach Realty. So your mom was a coach. My you joined mom. your mom at Coach and then you met Pete. Yep. Uh, he, he was in the Huntington. I was in the East North Portal. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. So take me through it. And how did we get from working a coach to the next place? Where was, where'd you go after coach? So after coach, my mother and I went to a company called Century 21 Northern Shores, a small mom and pop. The, uh, it was a broker owned. It wasn't a franchise? Of the it was a franchise, but independently owned. So did you get to wear the gold jacket? I did. No, I did. I did not. I did not. We always joked about it. She did have my favorite part of that chapter in my life was she had an ad when we came over that the value of gold just went up. Okay. Because everything was gold then. But no, no gold jacket for me. All right. So how long were you a coach in Century of 21? I wish I wrote this down. I was at coach probably five years and probably Century 21. We did about five together. With your mom? Mm -hmm. And then your mom retires? Passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank she passed you. passed away. Yeah, she was very ill. Okay. Um, right. And then from there, I was, when, when she passed, I, I promised myself I would not go back into the business. This huh. is actually a good story if you want to hear it. I do. As my mom was ill and passing, I had her home with me. We had hospice. Uh, it, it was actually quite beautiful. But this, this woman knocks on the door and she's like, I've been trying to get you. I have an offer on your house. And I was like, I don't care. You know, my mom's ill. I don't want to do real estate. This is the builder, you know him, go put the deal together and leave me alone. Um, I was probably said it just like that because it was, you know, well, it's very it was stressful. a very stressful time. So fast forward, my mom passes and we're at the wake and the same woman walks in and I'm kind of like, oh, this girl's a little pushy. She's at my mom's wake. Winds up her aunt was very good friends of my mother's and mine. We used to give her all our South Shore business. She would give us all our North Shore okay. business. And then fast forward, we get back to life. I don't want to go back into the business. And then again, I knock on the door and here's the same girl. Her name is Debbie Power Dooley. She works for us, manages our Northport office. And she's like, well, here's your half of the commission. And I was like, oh my God, that's so nice of you. We have been best friends from that moment. And we partnered up 
in our personal business. We married our books of business and sold together probably 18, 20 years. So you worked first with your mom like a partner yeah. for 10 I believe, years. I believe in partnerships. Yeah, and then you moved into a partnership with this woman who you had a relationship with, you and your mom had a relationship with her mother. Yes. Well, that's cool. Well, her aunt. Not her, her aunt, aunt. okay. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. It was really, it's a great story. It's a great story. So, what happened after that? So then after that, um, when I went back into the business, Debbie and I started to share some, we had one builder. We were sharing that same builder I mentioned earlier. Great guy, God rest his soul. He really was instrumental in my business. Um, and then the company she was with recruited me pretty hard to manage their Northport office. And um, I took a leap of faith, started managing it. What company was it? A Century 21 family. Okay. Um, started managing it. Fast forward to some challenges. They had a Northport and East, or, excuse me, an office in East Northport, office in Northport. Some financial troubles. They they went under. Northport was left standing with a silent partner. The silent partner and I partnered up, and we took it to the next level. Um, so prior to this point, you're just working with the one person still as your partner, or you're on your own at this point? Uh, well, the, during that time, I was with her, then went into management, then went into ownership. Okay, so how long were you managing before you did the next move? How long was I managing? I'm nine years. You're not old enough. You keep giving me stuff in decades. It's just, it's not possible. So I started at 18. Yeah, okay. Started at 18. Um, so let's think about that. My mom is, is gone 22 years. So Debbie and I have been together 22 years. I've been at Signature 12 or so. So about eight or nine years at Century 21 Family. You had great success there, didn't you? I did enjoy it immensely. What was the... We were biggest, the number one Century 21 in Suffolk County. What was the biggest reason for your success? I already know the answer. Working by referral. Pete told me. What was it? Oh, I, I know what he says. That people were loyal to you and worked for you because of the way you treated them. And you always looked out for people. And you had a large group of people and they stuck with you. I had the absolute best. I'd like to believe that's why, but I will tell you that we were just a family. We truly were a family that loved each other. Um, it, was it was an amazing chapter. Was, well, you know, the, it was a, it was kind of a, 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 an epiphany for me when Pete brought that up because it brings everything together for me now, understanding the culture where we are now at Signature. This is the culture you've been breeding your whole life in your career, and it's really what goes on here. It was raised that way. Yeah. It was raised that way. Yeah. Uh, in fact, when Pete and I first had our first, you know, our 10th glass of wine and, and we side, decided we were going to kind of do this together, I said to him, there's only one real hard rule for me. I'm pretty easy on everything, but it has to remain mom and pop no matter what we do. And it's, a, it's an agent focused company. And, you know, Pete and I are very like minded. That comes yeah. easy to both of yes, us. Yes, I can see that. So now you're in this office in Huntington. You, you're a part owner in the office. You're a partner. Partner. You blew it up. You were number one. On oh, you're at Century 21? Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, it was Northport Main Street. Northport. I thought you meant Pete. Yeah. yeah, before Pete. Before Pete. I want, I want to get us to Pete. Mm -hmm. So how long were you in that partnership running that brokerage? I'm going to guess. I wish I had the exact years. I'm going to guess nine years. So it's a good long time. Yeah, because the franchises are usually 10 years, and I got out at nine. All yes. right. So tell us how you and Pete then ended up. From... Uh, Pete doesn't agree. We don't agree on this story, okay. but I know the truth. <laughs> yeah. um, I was retiring. Century 20. It was right when the, the market had crashed. I had done my time, and all of my children were in school in South Carolina. My husband retired. I had a home in South Carolina and I was selling my home here and retiring. You're gone. Sold my franchise to somebody else. Um, and I promised her a year, six months to a year to get everybody. So remember, these were my family. I didn't want to just sure. drop rock and roll. And Pete, so I had called Pete and his then partner. And I said, come, I, you know, I'm not doing anything with the franchise or the agents, but I have this lease and these desks and you guys are just getting started. Why don't you entertain this? And, um, his partner left and he sat outside and called me and he's like, don't do a thing. I'll just throw a signature sign on it and you can manage it. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> um, and then we stayed, then I went with my agents just back to Century 21 Northern Shores. The owner of that company is a dear personal friend and has always been amazing to me. It felt like going home and uh, Pete kept calling me. And then about six months in, he called again. I remember it was probably around December and he said, I want to show you something. So I took Debbie and I said, all right, he wants to show us something. Let's go look. And he had built this gorgeous office on Main Street. And I'm a Main Street girl. I had the majority of my career on Main Street. And I was like, oh, my goodness, this is so great. And um, I was six months in. I was like, all right, I'll take a leap of faith. And I kind of came over as I didn't want to be a branch manager, but I was going to kind of run the office and help him. But I was going to sell. Really just wanted to go back into sales. I love selling real estate. And then that was Valentine's Day when I came over. My agents followed. We had a good time. And 
six months to the day later, we had decided to be partners and the partner, his original partner was bought out and, and I came and. That's amazing. Did the name change at this point now when it's you and Pete? It was always Signature Premier Property since I've been here. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. And you start out imme immediately once you guys were equal partners? We're partners, yeah. Um, six months in, we're partners, yeah. That's great. Yeah, and it was it's kind of magic. It just was fun. It's really fun. It, it's it's amazing because you guys are genuine. You know, yeah, I, I'm a pretty straightforward guy. And that's either people love that or they don't like it, you know, especially if it's bad news, right? But I could sense that about every time we're with you, all the videos you guys put out, whenever we're at meetings, whatever, you're at happy hour, we're, it's the same. You just Because we're just genuine, true. Do you know what the truth is? We are who we are. Yeah. Don't try to be anybody we're yeah. not, you know? Yeah. I always say I'm the proud daughter of a construction worker, and I don't want to be anything but that. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me... Now we hear signature, and I'm not going to go through the whole signature story today. I'm going to save that juice for I wish, another day. I, I had to tell you, I wish, as we, even as we're speaking, I wish I wrote more stuff down. Well, this, could, in, this video will turn out to be a chronological uh, uh, piece reminder. of history for your family, yeah, 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 yeah. you know? So what I want to know is, because I'm not going to talk about how, how signature grew up and became what it is now. We're going to save that for another time. But what, um, are you a workaholic or are you I somebody am. takes time off? I do take time off, but I do like to work. Right, because uh, well, I, take, I take more time off now. In the very beginning, the days were long, the yeah. nights were longer. Um, but no, not a lot of time off. In the, in the very early days, we worked really hard. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I say built it. Yeah. What about now? What kind of hobbies? What are you doing when you're not here? Love to travel. Um, love to play pickle. Do you have, do you have property in some other state that you go to? I do. Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, so you go down there? A lot. I do. Four times a year? At least once a month. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's yeah. great. I try at least. Yeah. Um, so I travel. I have my girls. My daughters live real close. We're literally seven houses away from each other. Great. And have three grandchildren. And they take a lot. Of How time. old are the grandchildren? My oldest is fourteen. Oh my. And my then Jude, my grandson is six, and a granddaughter five. That's great. I'm going to be a grandparent this year for the first time. It in October. is heaven on I earth. Know. It's my favorite thing. When my feet hit the floor, I thank God I every day for them. I know. We have uh, a couple of friends that have babies right now that are doing the grandparent and I can see the goo goo of it you know it's just a, it's more than I can ever put to words and you know my wife shopping and filling a drawer quietly but <laughs> it's all happening no, oh. and she's already told me that we have to bring a crib back in the house we have to take a room up and, and you do okay <laughs> and you know what you say you'll be you'll be as crazy as she will be I know I will yeah I am I am kind of goofy I, I have to tell you I would say as a grandparent I thoroughly enjoy watching my husband be a grandfather uh -huh. he takes it to, he just wonderful what are your kids into they all work here. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about, I mean, the grandkids, I'm sorry. The grandchildren. The grandkids. Um, my oldest is an equestrian. She rides horses, and huh. she's a very talented artist. My grandson has some special needs, so he plays a little soccer. Yeah. And my granddaughter is, the youngest is a spitfire. She's a, a talented dancer at five. Oh, okay. A terrible soccer player, but a talented. Well, that's how it goes. So, quick little sidebar. My, my son, uh, my daughter's first. She's the oldest. And when my son was young, my wife tried to get him involved in something because he had a lot of energy. You know, a two, three-year-old boy, four-year-old, a lot of energy. And there, there weren't a lot of opportunities, so she put him in the dance school with my daughter. Oh, isn't that great? Now, a boy in the dance oh, school. Oh, I don't agree with what you're going to say. I think it's So wonderful. he became a company dancer. and he did that. amazing? The, yeah, he was living at the dance studio until he was 13. Now, she was a soccer jock. So we're in the back of the car, and one's putting on cleats, and the other one's putting on dance clothes. And I love it. Running all over town, and everybody has their own journey. Yeah, it's funny. And then you know, he turned 13 one day, and he woke up. He said, "Hey, I'm done with the dance thing. I want to do some other things. It's over, soccer, whatnot." Love it. And he went on to become a musician, do all the rest of it. I but, love it. Yeah, love it's it. kind of cool. So beyond the travel, and beyond the grandchildren, what else are you doing? Are you... I love Pilates. So I try to do that a couple times a week. Okay. Um, love to read. And usually when I get home from here, I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> yeah, you should be. You should be. There's a lot going on when you're managing people. Yeah. You're managing a large... How many people do you manage? How many people are in the company? I think uh, the staff, I believe there's 110 people on staff. Oh, that's crazy. 22 I, offices and one in Florida. And I know you have a relationship with almost every agent. I try my hardest. I know. I definitely try I my hardest. I try to meet them. Yeah. You know, that's why Pete and I keep ourselves so present in front yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I always say, it, it, if you guys take the leap of faith to join us, we got to love you really hard. I came from a, a corporate uh, brokerage before I came here. I won't name them, but you know who it is. And it's very different, you know. Um, it really is. And, and I came from a corporate world in my restaurant business. I get it. Um, but it's a different tone completely. The, the things that you're able to do are so much different than what a corporation can do. I think because we're on speed dial. Pete and I are on yeah. speed dial. Yeah, but and, and it's quick. 
you make a decision. It doesn't seem like a, you have to belabor it and go through all these checks and balances. We decided to do something. Exactly. There it is. You know, um, I always say that one of the secrets to our success is that neither of us ever hit corporate America. We didn't. I was a realtor that sold, a teacher sh very short term. Pete was a builder. So I think that was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. We don't know corporate America and, you know, n nothing should be too labored. If you need something and we can make it happen, we want to. Yeah, I, I believe that. What um, what can we tell our audience about Kathy that nobody knows? Give me, give, me a little, give me a little secret, a little tidbit. Well, if you went on my Facebook, my daughter Michaela loves to embarrass me on my birthday and on Mother's Day. Um, what could you tell me about? I don't know. I think I'm pretty public. How does she embarrass you? What does she do? She talks about what I like to eat, what I, uh -huh. you know. That I, I, I call her every time on 25A and the cell phone doesn't work. I'm very, very bad at that. <laughs> I saw Pete's, Pete's daughter, Caitlin, calling him out on camera, dressing, the way he was dressing. She didn't like what he was wearing. She said, well, she's a, she's got some talent. Well, she's a fashionista. I know, and I could tell. And she's harassing him for a tennis shirt and whatever, socks and sneakers or something. And it's kind of cute. And it's a drop. Yeah. Well, um, all right. So uh, I, I, I'm I, not sure if uh, if there's anything we left off the table here, because I really want to save some for the next time. Anything about me? Or yeah. Right? I want to know. It's about you. Um, anything about me? My pride and joy is my children. Yeah. Um, family first, professionally and personally. Um, when you're traveling, besides going to Charleston, you're you taking trips abroad, that kind of thing, or are you just going to Charleston a lot? You know, I'm pretty busy, so they make fun of me. I like to take a lot of short, quick trips. Um, I feel like at this point in your life, you probably could take time if you wanted to. I am a control freak. There you go. I, I know, but <laughs> you, you have go. a good <laughs> system. You've got teams of people in place Final, who you trust. Yeah, I'm very blessed right now. Very blessed in that we've got got it to where we can have a better quality of life than we were. We were we were live, living it, breathing it, eating signals. Yeah. yeah. We still are, but we have yeah. a support system. But you can go to Europe and get a signal. I could absolutely. <laughs> I, could. I could. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. We're uh, we're gonna Charlie's gonna post uh, this interview in little pieces on. TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, and then we'll have the full length interview uh, on my YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe, and we will uh, we will share this all over the Signature Social and all that. So uh, <laughs> terrific! Thank you so Thank much. You. I You're appreciate the best. it. That was You're great. the best. Great. Thank you, Charlie.